Hey guys, thanks for clicking. I appreciate that. So today we're going to do something a little bit different from us. It's a little bit more on the um, excavating sort of landscaping uh, thing. We have a semi-new construction and the uh, property is really, really rough shape as you can see behind me. Uh, no grass. It's really been, it's rough graded. So a uh, customer wants to rake it out so they can get some seed down, so they can get some grass, so the uh, water stops washing away their topsoil. Um, that's really the goal here. Um, not necessarily to level the property out, though they would like it leveled. It's, you know, that's kind of two different things. You're going to rake it out or you're going to level it out. So either you're box blading or you're going to, you know, run the landscape rake. So we're just going to do the landscape rake here. I told them it doesn't really level, but it should clean up like... Um, a lot of the small stuff and uh, let's take a look at what we have and see what we're gonna do so here's the front yard basically which um, is probably the smoothest part of the property it's been cleaned up fairly well so we're really just gonna landscape rake here and try to get up all this small debris small rocks because ideally if they could get um, seed down and they could get a mower over it that's kind of the goal so we want to get rid of, you know, all these bigger pieces of rock that we can. So that's our goal. That's what we're going to try. Let's we'll take a look at the back. See, like, where the water is just making a river, which is, like, kind of just going right down into the backyard here. It looks like a dry riverbed. <laughs> but it's really, it's really pretty rough over here on the sides, and we're getting a lot of bigger rocks, which, like I said, it should, it should clean up a lot of it. We're gonna get the front done first. And then as we get down here, like I said, this is really rough. So we're just gonna kinda of see how it goes with the rake. Hopefully it'll smooth it out enough where they're able to uh, get some vegetation down, you know? And over here is really rough, but we're gonna do our best. A few stumps. Here's our setup. We have the six foot landscape rake on our uh, John Deere 2038R. And I have the grapple and the bucket, uh, just in case we need the bucket, maybe to back drag some stuff, I'm not sure. There's some uh, debris we're gonna move with the grapple first, but this is what we have. So let's get it going and see how she does.
So all in all, it really did a great job. Um, yeah, we had to go back through and pick up a lot of little small rocks and debris. Um, you know, I'm sure a power rake would have done a much better job for basic landscape rake. And the amount of time we put on this property, I was really impressed. Came out great, you know. You compare a $12,000 power rake to a $1,000 uh, landscape rake, and well, I don't know, I think it did a great job. So what do you all think? All right, guys, so that's, uh, that, was, that was a pretty big job, uh, especially for us, because like I said, this isn't um, normally what we do. It's just kind of an extra to our business. Um, but it was someone I knew, and uh, it was a pretty big job to start with, but I think it came out pretty good. I mean, other than maybe bringing in some topsoil and spreading that over the top, uh, it's probably, if it were mine, that's what I would do, because the soil is... It's not the best, so I don't know what kind of grass he's gonna grow. Plus, it is it is middle of July, and it is a very hot summer, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go as far as planting grass seed right now. Um, I know they're on wells over here too, so I don't know how you're gonna water an acre of uh, brand new lawn, so I wish him the best of luck with that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Peace.